Good morning. It is Jane with Scraptastic Yarns. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is. I don't know what time it is. Um, a couple of days ago, um, I had someone who gave me several boxes of fabric that um, their friend was cleaning out. They were moving into a, a senior living community which they were downsizing to one bedroom, a small living room, that kind of thing. And she knew that she wasn't going to be doing a lot of things, so she she was a quilter, and so I was given a lot of quilting fabric and some other polyester cotton blends, which I can use, because um, that's not a problem, um, lining bags with those, that kind of thing. And plus I can also make some other types of quilts with them, so some of it I can be I can use. Some of it I cannot use, and that will go up to the scraps and skeins. However, among those boxes was this box, and it appears to have yarn in it. So I thought for some grins and giggles, it might be fun to go through it and look and see what's in it. Okay, one of the first things that I see is there is a... Um, Ball of Speed Crochet Cotton. This is mercerized cotton. I believe this is a number 10. Looks to be like a number 10, maybe a 5. But apparently she was making someone with something with them. Because those are little wheels. Um, I don't know that I would do anything with those, but I can use this to actually make angels with the... Um, clothespins that I make for Operation Christmas Child. In this is a used skein of one pound by Creston or Crestlin and this is a worsted weight yarn and the color is called Juniper which is a rather interesting color of green. So yeah, I will be using that. I figure I can use that for scrap and you name it. Oh my. There's quite an interesting lot in here. Some of it's just mixed up yarns. Then there is a nice skein of yellow. Partial skein. Another partial skein of that yellow. That's blowing out that yellow. Well, this is in interesting. Persia type needlepoint cruel yarn. Now I can't use that, so that'll go off to scraps and skeins. And it looks like she was starting something with maybe some baby yarn. Some of that green, it's got a little bit of a sparkle in it. And then also there's another strip, maybe a mile a minute, who knows, with the baby yarn that is got the blue, green, yellow, pink, and white in it. Here is another skein of what looks like, this is Red Heart, I believe in spruce. There you go. It's a rather interesting color. <laughs> there is a skein that is entangled with a lot of other yarns. Let me see if I can get it out. This is Sayel's Kreskis, which wasn't that um, Wolver at one point. Uh, this is 4-ply Arlon acrylic in the color off-white. And it is an off-white. Then there is a skein of this unknown. I'm sure it's a red heart with uh, like a tan, brown, white. And 
There is a partial skein of that cuddle sock with just the green. Um, this is by Karen and it is called Baby Green and it does have a little bit of a sparkle in it. Can't really see it, but it's that fine baby yarn. There's another couple of strips of the baby yarn with the red, I mean the the blue, the pink, whatnot. There is a skein of that yellow Karen baby pompadour, which has a little bit of sparkle in it. I do know someone that might be able to use this. And then there is like a conglomerate of just yarn scraps. There's another one of those cruel yarns that'll go. Dark paper red. And these most likely I'll just toss. Although I might be able to pull a little bit of that light green out of there. But yeah, that was rather interesting. Then we have a skein that has orange and blue. Where she had wound those together. There is a square done in that light green, mint green. And there is the partial skein of it. Goes together. And there's a real pretty little leftover of a blue. There is a, an interesting, this is called Melina Acrylon. And of course, they used to always say they were moth proof. And this is in the color Cocoa. That's a pretty color. Then we have a little bit of a light blue color. little bit of this, I don't know what you would call that, like terracotta almost. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. I don't remember what they call this, but you use the yarns for it. It's like three layers deep. It's pretty interesting. Use that as a hot pad, although I don't think I will. Then there is a little partial skein of this it's called nature sail in the baby in the color baby ombre that has got the pinks the blues and a white in it then there's a little bit of a this isn't really red I'm I don't know what color this would be considered. I mean, it's sort of reddish, but it's got kind of a fuchsia glare to it. And there is a little bit of a partial skein. There's a lot of yarn that's just mixed up in here, just tossed in this box. That got a color of almost like an aqua, coral, and white to it. Here's another one that is a really soft, like almond color. It's not really yellow, it's kind of like an almond color. Very pretty. Then we have another baby yarn. I don't know what this is, but it's got uh, light blue, green, green, pink. Hope you can see that. Very pretty. But it is a worsted weight. There is a tad of what is called orange, red heart. Look at that orange. Look at it. That's not what I would call orange. I almost call that pumpkin, pumpkin-y. And then there is a peach color, which there is a label inside of it, but I am not going to peel that out to try to find that. Uh, 
Oh boy. A little bit of a knot here. Let me see if I can get this through because it does have something attached to it. I have always found it interesting the way people do their yarn. So I'm sure at one point she was just putting them in a box, planning on using it some later date, but for whatever reason did not ever get back to it. It is attached to a small crochet piece. I have no idea what she was starting. But there it is, it's in all its glory. A little bit of peach color. Now this one is interesting because it feels like a cotton. And I don't know if it is or not, but once I get it pulled out of here, we're going to look and see. This is... 100% cotton. It is a Red Heart Knit and Crochet Yarn Cotton in the color yellow. It is almost neon yellow. Isn't that interesting? I'm going to set aside since it is that. Here we go. This one I think I showed earlier. This is also, it's Murphy's Marked Windtuck in the color lullaby has the pink the blue all those little soft colors so you do know what that one is and then here is a dazzle air by Caron and this color is baby rainbow see those colors And there is a little bit of a soft pink here. I can get it out. For months, it's mist. It's baby soft pink. And what I call baby green. Just a little snag of it. Then we have almost a whole skein of this. Not quite a full skein of the Baby Sport by Red Heart in the color Baby Print. And it does have that little bit of a sparkle. I did find that. And then we have a variegated. This was a quarter, three-fourths of a pound, called Mixed Green. Um, Going to pull it out of the bag. This is Natura Deluxe Jumbo Super Value. And this was a 12-ounce skein of green, mixed greens. Then we have another one of those with the brown, the tan, and the white. Partial. And there is a whole bunch of little pretty blue and pink and white. There are a couple more skeins of that um, Cruel yarn, two different colors there. This is a funky color of green. Look at that, light green. Here's another cruel yarn, another set there. And here is another cotton yarn, kitchen cotton in off-white. 
It's a little stained with dirt, probably needs to be washed. And then we have this. And this feels like rug yarn. Which, if you come across this kind of yarn, it's very coarse, rough. You can knit and crochet these to make pot scrubbers. So that is another idea to use that with. Then we have another skein of the Red Heart Baby Fingering in white with the sparkle. And here is a Hirschner's Needlepoint Kit. Looks like it's all together with all the yarn. Isn't that interesting the way Hirschner's put those out? And then there are two what look like full skeins of Red Heart Soft Spun Pompadour Yarn in Baby Yellow. And they both have that, I um, hope you can see that. It's got that white, shiny yarn that runs through it, so it kind of turns it into a beautiful piece. And then she had a whole bunch of these where she had crocheted those baby yarns together, creating strips. There's a little ball of that. Blue with that sparkle. Just a smidgen of a pinkish. A small ball of dark blue. small piece of fabric. Little flowers. Oh boy. And this is worsted weight blue. It's called Tweety by Heritage Mills in azure blue. And she had started making some granny squares with that. So those all keep together. And then there is a little bit of a skein left of some more of that Red Heart Sport in the baby print. which has that nice little bit of the sparkle yarn that runs it through it. And other than that, there's nothing else in here but a couple of labels. Curious to see what she had in her stash in the past. She had an off-white in Karen One Pounder. She had something called DuPont Acrylic Super Value. That must be the peach that's in there. And she had one that was called Pastel Ombre, and they have patterns on them. And then she had another one pound of Karen yarn and cream, which this must be the cream. Other than that, there's just little bits and scraps in here that um, will go into the trash along with that one bag thought it might be fun to go through and see some of that. Um, yes, I will use these. I will roll these up into small balls and use them throughout whatever I'm using to make different things. Maybe they can go for some of those hats. Maybe they can go for whatever. But I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a yarn haul, in a sense. Um, 
I'm having a lot of fun looking at some of these things. And I will not use that baby yarn. However, I do know someone that loves baby yarn. And I will get that over to her um, so that she can make some more baby blankets. She does love using that. Um, lots of times she will use it with a um, doubled up with another yarn. But she's going to be in a little bit of heaven having fun with this. So. Uh, yeah, so I'll get that to her and she can figure out what she wants to do with it. And so it won't go to waste. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this little walk through time. I have no idea how old some of this yarn is. I'm sure some of it's pretty old. Looking at some of those labels, I don't think those were sold past the 80s, some of them. So I do know, I do recognize a couple of those labels that I saw in the 70s at the Ames store. Not 70s, the 80s at the Ames store. Maybe into the early 90s. But yeah, a lot of that yarn is way before then. So hope you enjoyed that and I will see you again soon. Remember to be kind to one another, love one another, be a little kinder to yourself. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.